Hello again, Jackson here. Welcome to the channel. Nice to have you as always. So, got a quite a tasty one for you today. There's a video I've been wanting to make for quite ages and ages and ages and ages, but I was using this plugin just the other day and thought I've got to make this video because it is. It, I forgot just how ridiculously easy this is to use. So, scenario is, so you've got a couple of websites one is your main site and one's your another site for say you know your shop or your blog or your community or your membership or your forum or i mean whatever the reason is and you've got users on both sites but you is it like the same users on both sites so you need a solution that they're not having to create logins and passwords on both sites plus you want their info to sync across the two sites or three sites, by the way, uh, you know, things like display name or, you know, user meta, that kind of thing. And this plugin just does it for free, completely out of the box. And it is an absolute cinch to set up, almost, ze almost zero setup. So I'm going to take you through it with a bit of a scenario and use case, give you a demo of the end result, and then quickly take you through how to set up the plugin from scratch. Anyway, let's crack on. It's WordPress user sync. Right then, sinking away, shall we get started? So you may recall, this is the site, the Olive Oil Club, on the video from that one up there, link in description as well. Uh, we built a community. Now this scenario is that we want we want the community to be on a different domain, well, it's a different subdomain. So we've got a main site and we've got a subdomain site. I mean, to be fair, they're both on subdomains, as you will see main site there and over on our community site we've got a completely different domain and on our main site we've got you know home about we've got a shop we've got a blog so people are getting registered on this site and we've got a subscribe button and on on that page there is a form that will subscribe us to this website create a wordpress user now this it's exactly the same flow that you would do if you were using the standard register for this site WordPress version. And it doesn't matter what form plugin you're using or even if you're using this default register form with WordPress, it's doing the same thing. It's creating a user. And by registering on the main site, we want to make sure that we've got access to the other site without having to re-register or log in or remember passwords and all that sort of stuff. We just want to have access. So let's give it a go. Now I'm going to show you all the settings which are remarkably simple in just a few moments, but this is it in action. Here we go. So we've got to subscribe to this site. Let's get Chris in and it's going to be Chris at test.com. We'll put in just a random password. Subscribe. Okay. Okay, great. We've got a message here. Please check your email box for to confirm your subscription. Great. So let's go to the back end now. Now I've got um, no email service set up on this dev server. So if we just refresh our mail log here, we see, we have, see we've got a little confirmation email sent to Chris. What does it say? Is it, please confirm your submission. You probably should say subscription. Let's copy that. Let's go back to our front end. Excellent. Now remember, we've got join the oil club here. Refresh that. We're still looking to sign up or log in. Just absolutely no access at the moment. If we go back to our page, paste in our confirmation link, and thanks for subscribing. So we're subscribing. So we're gonna go back to our other site. Now, if we refresh this, we should be a subscriber on here as well, and it should have logged us in, believe it or not. Let's give it a hard refresh. Shazam, it's as simple as that. I mean, well, you haven't seen how simple it is yet, but you see how the two sites, completely different sites, are now set up to have the users synced. And just so you can see that in the back end, here's our main site. You can go to users, subscribers, and there's our Chris. And if we go to the community site here, go to users, subscribers there's our chris fantastic and you can actually see that chris has actually been logged in here because it says log out of everywhere on his profile page brilliant so how the heck does this work well it works really simply like unbelievably um let's get back to our main site and our plugins and here we have installed wp remote user sync updated a couple of months ago to be fair i've been watching this plugin for 
few uh, years actually and hadn't been updated for ages and it just recently got updated and so i thought it was time to actually share this love with you dearest wordpressers so wp user syncs now if we go over to the settings on it now this is the main site remember you see i've got this other site connected so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually just bin that site config are we sure yes we are let's get rid of that so it's now not connected i'm just going to also just log out of Chris as well on the community and on his main side, just log him out everywhere just so that we're, there's no confusion when we run this again from the get go. So now we've got to add a new remote site, which is essentially our community site. So let's grab that URL. Let's put that in our, ooh, this one this is our main site and we want to connect the community site we're going to add it and we're going to tick everything basically you can obviously pick and choose what you fancy but this literally keeps the whole thing in sync it doesn't matter which site you're on so if you're selling stuff on one site communities on another site forums on another site this will just sync the whole lot up and of course you can add as many as you like it's absolutely mental let's save that so when you save it you'll see that we get a message saying we don't have any encryption or authentication key and this is this security part here so we basically got to put some random string in there now it could be anything you want make it long make it hard to guess make it super secure and it's this key and this key that have got to be the same on of each of the individual sites that you're trying to hook up and don't forget you can have as many sites talking to each other with syncing with users as you like so just for quickness sake i'm just going to make a just a random thing don't worry for those of you looking at this i will be deleting this after the tutorial so let's just have that as our encryption key and we're going to use the same for the signature key although you should probably have different ones by the way this is just a demo and it's just for quickness sake let's save that error message goes away Everything set up, security set up. Now we've got to do the same on the other side. Now remember, we were going to go to our plugins and settings for our WP Remote User Sync. We're going to delete that remove site config. It's going to add him back, which is our main site URL. Let's get that in there. Add that. We'll do exactly the same. So we want all we want full two-way sync on all the stuff. Let's tick all of those babies. Let's go to our security. We're going to add the same key. It's got to be the same key. Oh, not that one. Let's get back to our security here. We'll just copy that. Back to our encryption and our signature. Save that. Both sites set up and you can start testing this stuff now. Okay, metadata is not saved. Let's make sure those are on and make sure we've got nothing missed on that one. Great. So let's test. Can we log in? Yeah, we can. Can we log out? Everything's syncing across the two things. Incoming, can we update and create and sync roles? Yes, we can. And I'm not going to go obviously through all these, but I suggest you do click all of them. You know, it's probably worth to double check the lot. And that's it. Right, shall we now? Remember, we logged out of the other, the, the other guy, Chris, whoever it was. Let's give it another go. So let's go back to our main site, go to our subscription again. And we'll have Claire and Claire at test.com another massively strong password subscribe please check your inbox let's get back over to our main site that's our main site let's go to our mailbox settings that's over here open that up and our email logs here's our claire let's get her confirmation link copy that copy link address and let's just get back to our main thing now before we hit go on that let's go to join the order so we're not logged in we could go sign up. No access as it stands. Claire's going to confirm her subscription doing its thing. She's now subbed. Let's join the Olive Club. Do we need to log in? Are we logged in? Yes, we are. Unbelievable. Really, it's quite stonking. Links are all in the description as always. And if you want to learn how to build your own WordPress community, then that's your vid right there. But until next time, I shall see you later.